Hey, Dick Grant, nice to meet you. Gavin, can you trust him with the balloon? Sweet. Gavin, everyone! <laughs> Gavin, have you ever done magic before? Um. Awesome. You're about to become a master magician right in front of this audience right here. This is going to be great. I'm going to walk you through this, but at the moment of magical truth, I will step away and the limelight is all yours. Fair enough? <laughs> All right. Let me give you the background. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, a tin. Inside the tin, I have a... There it is. Come to me. A master lock. Suspended by a red ribbon, so I don't have to touch the lock. I will if he needs my assistance, but I don't believe he will. Uh, so I'll just hold on to this. What I want you to do is I want you to reach out and grab the lock strongly. Excellent. With your other hand, place a finger through the clasp and try to break it open. Pull, tug, yank, grit your teeth. Excellent job. He's not going to be able to open it. It's a real lock and does what one should do. Is it real? It is. Place the lock on the table and I will show you this. Inside the tin also, suspended by a matching red ribbon, is the key that opens that lock. I know this is the right key because I placed it on the lock myself, so we'll come back to it last. Because also in the tin are seven other keys. These keys are keyed identically, but wrong for this particular lock. Take any one of these you like. Can we go ahead and bring the music down just a tiny bit there? You can bring the music down just a little bit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll edit that out in post. <laughs> Alright, place that key into the lock. He's going to find that the key fits and turns, but the lock will not open. It's keyed so closely that the, the lock fits and turns, but the lock will not open. Is that your In fact, face your friends right over here. <laughs> There you go. That's the audience out there. All right, so turn the key, take it out, drop it in the tin. Did it open the lock? No. Try again. <laughs> we won't go through all seven keys, but I do want him to see he has a fair choice. All of these keys will have the exact same outcome. They're keyed the same. So they all fit, they all turn, the lock does not open. Is that true? It is. Take the key out, try again. <laughs> Three, four keys remaining in my hands. We'll try one more, just to be sure. Again, we don't, we don't need to go through all seven, but I just want to make sure. There you go, nicely done. Final key, your choice. Digging to the bottom, he doesn't trust me, smart man. <laughs> all right, three keys remaining in my hand. I'm gonna just drop them in, mix them together. It really doesn't matter, they're all keyed the same. So it didn't work, is that true? It is true, take the key and drop it in the tin. Thank you so much. Please pick up the key that I said was the right one from the start and place it into the lock. On its first command, he's gonna find that the lock opens very easily, as it should. So, give a turn. There you go. Take the key out. <laughs> nice. Straight out, just like before. Did it open? No, no, it did not. Take the key and place it in and give a turn. All the way in, just like before. And now turn, just like before. Thank you so much. Here. I can see it's open. <laughs> It just turns. There you go. I'll take the key out. Hold that up so the audience can see that the lock is open. It is really open now. Okay, fantastic. Close it back up good and strong. Make sure it's not going to accidentally open. That would be bad. Nicely done. Place it back on the table, and we are ready to begin. My friends, this is where the magic begins. Because if we take this key off the ribbon, now it looks like the other seven. Yeah, you see where we're going. He now has a one in eight chance of finding that right key. Couple things. Please look inside the tin, make sure there's nothing sticky or adhesive. It's sealed all the way around. As I drop the keys in, they rotate with gravity. Is that true? And kind of, I'll spread them out. Does it look like there's eight keys in there? <laughs> He's counting them, that's good. So I've done nothing to change the outcome. Mix them up one final time. I will place the tin next to you, and as I promised, I will step away. There is nothing I can do to change the outcome from this point. What I want you to do is I want you to place your hand in the tin and mix the keys. You will know, I have given you the ability, when you know you have the right key touching your fingertips, take it out and show your friends. One key and one key only, is it the right one? It is. <laughs> place that key into the lock. Give a turn. Don't hold the lock closed. I have faith in you. Show them it open. <laughs> Give them an incredible. Okay, 
Take a bow. Good job. Yeah. 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 I and Ron Saylor have a magical night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.